Hello, hello, it's Julia here and it is the look of the day and I'm sporting pinks and purples today to go with my shirt. I picked the shirt out first and then decided to uh, bring in some of the colors from my shirt into my eyes. So today I am using our Moonstruck Addiction Palette number three and it is a collection of seven colors, a mix of matte, pearl, and metallic, and beautiful shades of purples, the lighter colors, and this beautiful rose over here, and a dark on the end here. So I started off my look on my eyes using this one here, the third one from the, from the right. And I used that all over my lid and into the crease, and feathering upwards a little bit. And then I took the one on the very end, this rose color, and I went above the crease, right in this area, right here, in this area, right here, just so that it transitioned a little bit to a more rosy uh, color. And it's pretty subtle. And then I took uh, Cheeky, which is a darker, a shimmer color and on the outer corners and then dragging into the upper crease but only about halfway um, to my eye. I didn't really pull it much into the center or into the inner corner. Just focusing on the outer um, area. And then I took the liner brush, this one here, and I wet it a little bit with our rose water toner and that um, I was able to use it as a liner. When you wet it, it becomes kind of more like a liner and easier to kind of draw. So I used a cheeky again with the liner brush just on the outer bottom of my lashes. And I went about halfway. And then after that, I cleaned my brush and I took this the lighter color here. Let's see if I can get the camera which is a very kind of almost silvery lavender, and it is pearl. And I took that and I went from the inner corner and underneath my lash line so that met up with the darker cheeky. And then on this side of the brush, it's a blending side, I took that lighter color again, smitten, and I just dabbed it on my inner corner right in here. And so that my head changes direction, it kind of shimmers right there. And then I did, put a little bit on my brush as well, and just right under my brow bone, and just swiped it back and forth so that the top part of uh, my eye, just another brow bone, has a little bit of a shimmer. And that is what I did with the palette. And then I came in with our black eyeliner and darkened under the upper water line. I always do that because it makes your uh, lashes look fuller at the base. And then I used our kind of silverly ice blue color polish. I'm kind of addicted to this right now. And I used this on the lower lash line, so right in here. And that just kind of brightens up my eye because it's a, a light color and it also brings in that shimmer. So beautiful uh, trick is to add either a white or this silver underneath the waterline, bottom or the bottom waterline, and that creates uh, your eyes to look a little bit larger. And then, of course, our 3D Fiber Lash Mascara uh, fibers um, attached to the gel, and it creates this beautiful, long and full uh, lash look. Three, uh, two, three step process, you go gels, then you go fiber, and then you go gels. So this is amazing, you'll love these. And then um, I did as my foundation today use um, BB Flawless, which is a tinted moisturizer, and um, it is a light coverage, and I did mix in a little bit of our Skin uh, Perfecting Concealer, which is this right here. And I just mixed it up a little bit together because I wanted it a little bit heavier coverage than what uh, the BB Flawless does by itself. But this is great. Um, I have kind of on the drier side or normal to dry um, and BB cream works really great uh, with my skin type. 
And um, so I combined these a little bit and then added a little bit extra concealer where I felt I had um, some more redness, usually like under my nose. And on my cheeks, I have a little bit of a rosacea, so I tend to uh, like a little bit heavier coverage in that area. And then I did um, do a little bit of contouring on my cheeks and my, um, ch my jawline and downward. And I did use our contour palette. So I contoured with this one here. And then I went and did some highlighting uh, with this one here on my chin, under my eyes, on my forehead, and the uh, my center of my nose. Oh, and then I forgot to do this one on the end, so I'll do that in a second. And then I came in with um, a blush. One of our blushes. A pressed powder blush. I used... Um, this one today, which is this gorgeous kind of orangey color. This one's called Sophisticated. And a little bit just right here, just to give my face a little bit more fresh and alive look and not just a tone of brown. And then with the highlight, what you can do with this, and I'll just do it now, just rub your finger right on there. And then you can just kind of tap it right above your cheekbone and this has a shimmery kind of warm glow and it's absolutely gorgeous. So just kind of work that in with your finger. It is a cream. Just work that in. And can you see that glow now? Right on my cheekbone right there. So pretty. So I'll do it on this side. Just dab it with your finger. I always like using um, my finger uh, for this because um, the heat of your finger will kind of um, have the product uh, glide on your skin uh, easier because it warms up to you. So, yeah, and that is the final look. Of, oh, brows, of course. Can't forget that because brows do matter. I uh, used our brow pencil. And, oh, lips too. Um, I just wanted a simple look today. Um, I'm using our bonbons. This is a um, tinted moisturizer. So it is super, super creamy. It's like wearing a lip balm. It's made with 